Hello, welcome to Rezobiz. This week is episode 17 of The People's Choice. I'm going to work on binding this week, and I'm going to give you an option. Um, we have a choice to make about the fretboard binding, and then we have the reveal of what um, was chosen last week. And so let's stay tuned, and uh, let's get started. Hi, I'm Burl with Bro Guitars, and welcome to Rezobiz, where everything is greater with a resonator. <laughs> Oh yes, the reveal. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cut right to it. It was a landslide. We are doing black hardware, and I am very thankful. <laughs> I thought there's a lot of ways we could go, and um, I just don't think I would be happy any other way. But it's it was your choice. But I think you've done very very good. All of y'all have done real well all the way up to this point, and I am thrilled with what we're doing with this guitar so far. I think I want one. Um, I keep threatening to bid, to bid on it, but then I get the look from the wife, and um, no, I'm not allowed. I'm sorry, I might just build me another one. <laughs> All right, and then here we go. The last thing is we are going to put a wooden palm rest on it. Now, this is not the color. It can be. Um, this actually happens to be rosewood, and what this is is one, two, three, four, five, six layers of... Um, of rosewood stacked on top of one another and this is a billet that I make these out of um, you can kind of see how that they're the same size but um, this week I'm not gonna I don't have enough of these ready and I want to give you some options and so um, we won't be choosing or, or deciding on on the color of these this week or what one we want but I've got some options this this will be one of them actually the thing I oh if I if you choose this one I'm giving it to you because it's actually supposed to be on this uh, right here um, I'm gonna rub it a little darker but anyhow I'll give that to you if you want it um, but I got another one I'm gonna put together I gotta do a laminate thing like this and we'll have different colors um, in it so that when it's cut out you can see a little bit of stuff I, I got an idea I'll have to show it to you next week all right so let's start putting some binding on look at the stripes in that thing this is gonna be one beautiful guitar It's really coming together good. All right, we so we got we got the neck fitting up pretty good. Got some just finishing things to do on it, and it needs binding. Let's start cutting some binding. Alright, I got my binding here, and I wetted it down, you gotta see what it's gonna look like wet, it's gonna be very pretty, and we'll get it in our, aluminum foil here. This will help trap <clears throat> excuse me, moisture in it. I actually started doing this a minute ago. I forgot the uh, aluminum foil and I feel like there was something not right. <laughs> it hit me. I was like, oh, yeah. Now what I'll do, because this ebony is so, oh, they just took the slack. Oh, this ebony is so brittle. Um, I definitely have to use the bending machine. Oh, that had it right. So 
this is what I bend my sides on. So let that to let that warm up a little bit, and oh yeah, then I can start slowly working it down. And you know, if you went too fast, they crack. Now I I think I'll be I'll be okay on these. Um, I don't think I have real too much concern because. It is ebony, it's not figured. Um, I've had the uh, quilted or flame, flame is the worst, flame maple binding. And I, and sometimes I like to cut it thick. I'll do doing different th things. And I'll put it in here, start cranking it down, go a little too fast with it and you'll hear it. And you know you popped it it'll pop right on that um figure and so you gotta slow it down but i think we'll be all right with this ebony just because it is brittle as far as real dense and hard and all that but i don't have it too thick and there's no figure really in it other than that cool grain color change but that's not figure as far as like that uh, curl like you have in flamed um, maple. Let's see, real close. All right, now I'll start working down my Bending the sides is, or spinning wood, <laughs> is still my favorite part of building instruments. I really like this. And this one, you don't have to be quite so slow with it because you are bending over the bigger part of the arch, so it's not such a tight bend. All right. Let that sit for a little bit. So what I gotta do now is get this thing ready for my binding machine, which is always a exciting thing because when you're cutting binding, you know you're close. And that's oh, wrong one. All right. So what I just measured for is to make sure it's all level. And then um, I got my binding machine. And it's just kind of out of the frame right there. Actually, I got to turn it around <clears throat> and it will ride on here and cut our channel out. Okay, so here we go. I got it all set up. And <clears throat> this, this function of being able to ride up and down is not as important on this piece because this for the most part is level but on the back when it rises and it, it uh, it's absolutely necessary to get a straight channel line. so we'll buzz this around this time so there's there's parts that I hate and there's parts that I absolutely love doing I enjoy binding and bending and all that but I don't like cutting these channels it is nerve-wracking this machine and just the the power behind it and uh it's always been just a and, it, and it's funny because now i'm i don't know eight years into this and it's not as bad as it was when i first started 
but it's it's pretty bad. I just I don't enjoy it. Here we go. All right. clean it up a little bit but that's that's what we're doing this for here's a piece of my bent but see how it's gonna fit on there which I actually already tested it but well, not on this guitar oh it's perfect it's beautiful oh my see that see how that's gonna look it's just oh man I love it. I got this thing flipped around and we're getting ready to do the binding channel for the back now. All right, the clinch. <laughs> it's almost that bad. <laughs> Something I did I normally do and I got away with it, I think. Let me see. Not too bad. I might still run over it. I generally sink the end graph real smooth and get that nice and ready. So when that runs over it, um, it cuts that channel to fit. Where this is a little bit uneven right here, and so I've got some unevenness in my channel and it just doesn't, it's real close on this other side of it. I think I could get away with that one, but this one, I'm going to have to clean up the end graft and run it back through it and it'll follow it. But I got a couple little lumpy spots in it, so I'll have to clean that up a little bit. But man, and it, it just looks so pretty. Somebody's wondering, how, how does this wood, this hackberry, how does it feel when you're working it? It's got a... A little bit of a stringy feel to um like it uh stringy as far as well it's definitely not like mahogany where it just when you cut it it cuts off smooth um it's almost when you split it too it's got a string like fibers tear out of it but when i'm cutting it on it with this and the top when i did the top it was the maple and the hackberry on the side where this was hackberry on both sides it cuts it cuts easier than maple um, so if any of you are guitar builders or anything and you're curious on how it works it sands a little easier it's definitely it's not as, as dense as uh, maple and i've known that and so i'm kind of working different things different little um i don't know thicknesses the way i do my bracing kind of thinking about that in my head as i'm working it knowing that it's a little softer material than uh, maple and uh, definitely within rosewood but I I feel like it did a great job um, cutting in fact I think it cuts nicer on the browder than the maple feels so there you go little tidbit for you don't normally do it that way try there we go try to take it off easy <laughs> See how it is. It's not um, fully pulled off. And I might put it back in. We'll see. The other thing is, is um, this is cut. This was cut from the longest bit of ebony I have, which wasn't quite long enough. But what we can do is I cut quite a 45. The ends. It's got a nice bit to it. Um. About you will be able to splice them together, you won't be able to tell they're just a little short. But 
My goodness, does that fit in that binding chain of little nice? This is going to be a very, very nice binding job. Can you see that? It's just going to be. Oh. Gentlemen, I'm going to bid on this thing. Not really. But man, do I like it. Maybe I'll make me one. There'll be two of them out there. They'll be the people's choice, and then later I'll make me one. <laughs> oh, it's turned out beautiful. I'm actually working on a few beautiful guitars. This year, um, I've had a... Oh, and I don't... <clears throat> I'm not a high production shop. I never will be. Uh, but, <clears throat> excuse me. This year, I've had quite a slew of customers that have... Um, and I, you know, uh, I do somewhere around 12 guitars a year, and um, let's say half of it this year has been the, the, the fancy stuff. The people have just gotten, they see the different things. I was just talking to a customer about this today, but they've seen some of the different things that I do that I, I place on the website for options, and they're getting the feel for the custom that I like to do and uh, quite a few people have opted to do get out of the box you know do some neat stuff and um, I've been able to step into a I don't know just another level of building this year that's just been phenomenal and I'm working on a couple um, besides this one that are just like I want this too. I feel that way about a lot of my guitars, but um, this one's definitely coming together. Well, Drake has something to say out there, doesn't he? All right, that's we're getting some binding on it. Um, I, like I said, I, gonna, I cut an extra piece, um, and I might have to do it again, but because we have shorter pieces than I need so I'll oh, 45 and that give us more gluing angle and then you can't you won't even be able to tell that it's been joined together um, it's actually a very slick slick move all right I want to get to taping these things off all right I've got it taped up glued and I got this one last piece to put in you see how I 45 the ends. I stick that in here. And of course these are done that way. And then there's just a little bit of a <coughs> pucker right there which makes it tight when I which I want that because then when I pull it back like this. It just wedges those 45s together. And we have a real nice joint. And if any of your guitar builders or dobro builders or whatever, this is frog tape. I love this stuff. I used to get the uh, actual um, binding tape, but this is stretchy, and so it. I use it for uh, joining my backs, and uh, and I think it's a little bit thicker and stretchier than like three M green tape, which I really like, but. This is a little thicker, so I can pull it a little tighter. It's easier to get a hold of, too. I don't have to order it. And um, I feel like I can I break the uh, binding tape just as easy. Uh, or not, it's not easy, but about the same pull strength as this, I'm also by breaking the uh, binding tape. So I just use the green stuff. All right, I'm just gonna, I've got some accelerator. I'm gonna put something right on my 
joints and they'll have some hard something metal like that and I put on my joint spray it with some accelerator find my glue I'll push this together everything real nice and tight There it is. That is a tight glue joint. I don't even know if you can see it in the camera. But once it's all sanded, a little dust gets in there, I'll hit it one more time. And uh, any little voids, it'll fill. We're good. All right. So this is a mean trick here because uh, you say, oh, get it, get it untaped. No, I'm gonna let it dry. <laughs> so this will be for next week. You'll get to see the reveal of uh, this guitar without the binding. It is beautiful. It is so pretty. All right, so I've shaved off. I got some binding and I run it through my drum sander and I've got it real thin. I'm not stupid I mean, could get it thinner I suppose but <clears throat> I think it works for what I'm trying to do so what I'm thinking is I'd like to take for the fretboard I'd like to take this put it on here and I know what you're thinking Burl we said we're gonna put black binding on it yes so we'll put the black binding on that's the normal thickness of binding and we'll make it look like that around the edge and that way every fret ties into a trend that goes down there. And that way, so it's not just, um, you know, just, well, we could do that. But to me, that just looks a little, a little more trimmed out, a little fancier. And then somebody's going to say, hey, let's do that on the body. No, because the body is a light color anyhow. So your contrast is going to be awesome just the way it is and you've got so many lines I'm thinking you're gaudy that's what it would look like but on this fretboard being that it's ebony um, I think that would look real nice let's get this other piece up there it's hard to there we go manipulate everything without tape and glue but See what we're going for there? I think that would look really good. All right, so if you don't like it, say no, let's just do ebony, you know, know that fancy stuff. Let me know. Uh, All right, mercy. I am so tickled. You guys have made a wonderful choice on wanting to have this black ebony um, for the binding. The uh, I can't wait to show you the end graft how it's going to flow in uh, it's just it's got this dark binding and then it's just going to flow right into the end graft it's going to look so nice and then something i really didn't even suggest but the edges of our back strap are black and like ebony and they're going to flow right into this um binding and it's just going to look so so uniform so clean so it's just going to fit really well together. I'm very, very excited about that. All right, really, I think only one choice this week um, that I can think of. I feel like there's something else I was supposed to be mentioning, but I, at this point, I can't remember. We just got to decide on that, um, on this binding. Do we want, do we want to have the uh, little added extra pin striping? in there and so this week you just got to decide on on that and then of course we did go with the um palm rest and black hardware and i'm very thankful for that 
very thankful for that. That's going to look awesome. We'll have to decide on what kind of palm rest. I don't currently have any colors or stuff ready, so I'll get that ready. And uh, we'll decide on that next week as far as what to do with a palm rest. I've got, I, I got lots of neat ideas, but I think one of them would be ebony. And we use a good piece of ebony. It's got the striping um, from like the fretboard's got in it. And maybe I could laminate um, a little bit of the um, maple into it. So you'd have some neat, uh, just a little bit of trim of maple in there. You have to see what I'm talking about to understand, but I got it in my head. It'll be a, an option anyhow. All right. Well, until next week, hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button if you did and um, share it with a friend if you would. Um, and I'll, uh, I'll see you next week.